Hey guys, today we are going to be making vegan whipped Thai iced tea. This is a Dalgona Thai iced tea, and it uses simple ingredients found in most people's pantries. This vegan version has a little bit of coffee in it, but it's barely noticeable. Here are the ingredients to make the vegan whipped Thai iced tea. A half tablespoon of instant coffee, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of brewed Thai iced tea mix, and I'll show you how to brew it. And today we are using the original Thai tea mix from Cha Tru Mu. The dairy alternative I will be using today is an organic oat milk. First, we need to brew the Thai tea. This is a tea sock, also known as a tea strainer. It's a double layered, really fine mesh. And I personally like this one with a little rubber band wrapped around the top. But there are many different varieties out there, so just find one that suits you. So first we'll be putting three flat tablespoons of the Thai iced tea mix into the tea sock. And now I'm just going to place a rubber band around the top just to secure it in place and make it more easy to manage. Next, we're going to boil a kettle. You're going to need 125 milliliters of hot water or about a half a cup or four ounces and we're going to place the tea into the water. It's really fun to sit and watch the orange color permeate through the water. So now we're gonna let this brew for anywhere from five, 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll come back and strain it out. If you guys are liking this video so far, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. If you've seen my other video about how to make original street food style Thai iced tea, you know that we definitely don't use this much Thai tea when brewing. The reason for us using so much in this recipe is because we wanna get a really thick, concentrated, strong flavor of the Thai tea for this next step we're gonna be doing. Feel free to check out my other video of my favorite street food style Thai iced tea recipe here. I love Thailand and I love Thai iced tea. And I know that there are vegans out there who can't have the original street food style Thai iced tea. So this recipe we're making today is for you. All right, our time is up. So let's go ahead and strain out this tea. I'm just gonna go ahead and push it against the side to get all of those juices out. In a small bowl, we're going to mix a half a tablespoon of the instant coffee, two tablespoons of the sugar, and two tablespoons of the Thai tea that we just brewed. And the final step is for us to go ahead and whisk it together. The Thai tea does stain, so be really, really careful when you do this step, just in case any of it splatters around the area or on your clothes. I like to start it at low speed, then medium, and then work my way up to high. So as you can see, about a minute in, it hasn't whipped yet, but it's nice and frothy. So we'll continue on until we get to the consistency that we want. So another minute in, we're starting to get the results that we want. Check it out. I'm gonna go for just one more minute. All right guys, so at about three minutes in, this is looking perfect. Take a look. It's nice and creamy and frothy. It's going to sit perfect on top of our milk alternative. So before we pour this on our drink, let's go ahead and give it a try and see how it tastes. Mmm, wow. That flavor is out of this world. You would have no idea that it's vegan. The coffee flavor is very light and subtle, and the Thai iced tea flavor is more overpowering. They just go really, really well together. This reminds me of one of my favorite drinks called a Dirty Thai. I'll have to make a video for you guys in the future so you know how to make that one. This is very, very similar, and the flavors just mesh together so well. I can't wait to put this on our drink. The dairy alternative I will be using today is an organic oat milk. All right, and for the grand finale. This is thick. 
Mmm, it's good. This is Instagram worthy. Let's grab a shot. It just looks so beautiful and it has an amazing, really thick, dense layer. Let's give it a try. I've got my reusable glass straw. Mmm, delicious. Like I said, you get a little bit of the coffee flavor, but definitely more of the sweet Thai tea. And it mixes in really well with the oat milk. This is super rich and creamy, and I think everyone will really enjoy it. I definitely think this vegan whipped Dalgona Thai iced tea is definitely worth giving a try at home. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today. I really hope that you get a chance to make this drink, and when you do, please leave a comment below and let me know how it turned out for you. And if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. It really helps me out, and I definitely plan on giving you a brand new drink video every week. See you again soon.